Hello third class students. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to start with the chapter 5 that is time and events and the main points are events and sequencing, need of sequencing, time measurement, timeline and drawing a timeline. Start up. So let's start. Arrange the given events serially in order of their happening. Bola sowed mustard seeds in the field. There are flowers on the plants. Mustard seeds are collected. Flats have become seeds. Two small leaves have grown on the seed. Small leaves have become plants. You have to rearrange these points according to the serial wise manner. Events and sequencing. Many events take place in our life. Each event take place at a particular time. Some events are related to a particular matter, person, etc. When all events related to a picture, related to a particular matter are arranged, in an order, then it is called sequencing of events. The sequence is made on the basis of time. All events in our life take place in a sequence. Need of sequencing. If we do not pull all events related to a thing in sequence, we cannot find out what was happened and how everything happened in a sequence in our life also. So sequencing of events is needed to find out the reality or the happening of events. For example, when we say Priya got up from bed at 6 a.m., she took breakfast at 7 a.m. and went to school. Her class started at 8 a.m. She ate lunch on 12.30 p.m. She came home from school at 4 p.m. She took dinner and went to bed at 8 p.m. Thus, we are able to know about the whole day activities of Priya in a sequence. If the time sequence is not given, we will fail to understand about all the events. So we put events in a sequence on the basis of the time of their happening. Here you can see the picture of Priya got up at 6 am. Priya's class started at 8 am. Priya went to sleep at 8 pm. Time measurement. Time is measured in seconds, minutes, hours, days, dates, months, years, etc. We can see a watch or clock to know about seconds, minutes and hours. Here you can see the picture of a clock. The calendar helps us to know about days, dates, months and years. A year starts from January and ends at December. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October and November are other months of the year. 7 months of the year has 31 days, 4 months have 30 days and 1 month February has 28 or 29 days. Some national events like Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jandi take place on, the, on a particular day like, like 15 August, 26 January, 2nd October respectively. Birthdays, marriage anniversaries etc are family events. These also take place on a particular day or date. Events taking place in school are called school events. Annual day, teacher's day, etc. are all school functions that take place on a particular date. Timeline. A timeline can be made to show all events related to a particular things in a time sequence. The first event on a timeline is really the first event and is shown at the first place. Its time of happening is given. The event that take place after it is written on the second position with its time of happening, a timeline helps us sequencing the events, pointing the most important event and telling the complete story in a sequence. Drawing a timeline. We draw a timeline of events in order of their happening time. For example, Raman made a timeline of events that took place last year. Here you can see the picture of timeline that Raman has made. Valued facts. Our school diary helps us in sequencing and making a timeline. Awesome fact. In ancient times, people drew lines on the walls of a caves to draw a timeline. Here, let's learn new words. Sequencing, putting in an order. Timeline, events put in a sequence of time on a line. Now kids, let's remember, if events are not put in a sequence, 
we will fail to know about the complete story. Events are put in a sequence on the basis of the time of their happening. Time is measured in seconds, minutes, hours, days, dates, months and year. A timeline is drawn to put events in a sequence. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Now we will meet in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.